on the bench post 84. Sergey Kovalev is in the news again. He's apparently stating filing a loss. Uh, how do you call it? Filing to overturn the his latest loss to Andre Ward to a no contest. He has filed a claim with the Nevada State Authority. No, Nevada State Athletic Commission. For them to overturn the ruling to a no contest. I was under the impression Kovalev has gotten over this loss. But apparently he has not. And he's still he's still upset about the outcome of this fight. Sergei Kovalev is just unraveling. He's just showing to be how do you call it? He's not who he he proclaimed earlier to be. Somebody who is a, a monster in the ring, a knockout artist, knocking people out, who shows bravado, a fearsome fighter, and you are bitching over a loss. It's unbelievable. All this time that has passed, this guy is still, <laughs> he's, he's still thinking about the loss. Somebody who is a knockout artist, uh, uh, how do you call it? A, fear, a fearsome fighter, a fighter who puts fear, the fear of God in, in his opponents. He go, he go into a fight and he lose in such a manner, you're not even ashamed of yourself. And you're coming to protest, the asking of the, of the fight. You were left defenseless, getting punched time and time again. By Andrew Ward, you, you you literally sat on the rope, ropes with nothing nothing else to offer. You looked defenseless, defenseless by the referee. So he acted on instinct, even though it was a wrong decision. I also thought it was a wrong decision. That was instinctively what you could have done, because you looked helpless. You looked like you had nothing to offer. How can it be this? How do you call it? A boxer who was over the years displayed all these characteristics of a fearful and how do you call it scary fighter and you lose a fight in that such a such a fashion you had nothing to offer he's sitting with a low blow so he can't do anything and you're just there bent over you're not even ashamed of that fact losing a fight in such a fashion you are going to revisit that fight to protest the fight it's unbelievable man i didn't i didn't imagine cover level would be such would display such tendencies such female tendencies. I said, man, you should have forgotten about that thing a long time ago, and look onto the next, the next event to come to to sort of bounce back. So after challenging such a will, is he gonna ask for a rematch or something? That is definitely going, not gonna happen. So what is he gonna? What is he willing to achieve with this with this thing? There's no way he's gonna fight and reward again. So if he gets you over 10, what does he what difference does he make? You still have a loss on your record. It doesn't make you an unbeaten fighter. So what was the end game with this? So you go by level better stop this childish and female uh, how do you call it? Actions and go about his business. Because I don't think it serves any purpose for him. It's better off not doing what he's doing. It just cast a weak, a very weak image on him. Still. After all that happened in the in, in his latest fight. So these are my thoughts. If you like the commentary, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your time. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.